morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. The garden is a complete mess this morning, and I am not happy about it. I mean, ah, oh, jeez. In the last clip, you all saw that beautiful downpour of rain. Well, it turned into a violent storm and it just torn up and tossed around a lot. Let me show y'all what's going on this morning. At the back door and I had two pots. I had one here, one here. I had a little truck my nephew gave me with some stuff in it. And look at this, the truck has been tossed over there. The plant is tossed over there. The stuff I had inside the truck is tossed over there. I had some items I was gonna work on. And now I've probably, I've lost the screw cause it was one of them had a screw loose. So it's in this mess. Uh, this plant is over there. Oh, sorry y'all, hit the camera. Uh, let me walk around this. Oh, spider webs everywhere. I'm not ready this morning. I'm not ready. Okay, so I put about four rungs of the metal pole in the ground and the wind was so violent, it took the canopy, the, the uh, I'm sorry, y'all, I can't even think this morning. The shade cloth, it took the shade cloth, lifted it up, and tried to rip the cattle panel out of the ground. Let me back up so that you guys can see this. It is just literally tried to rip the cattle panel out of the ground. And if I go over here, hopefully I don't walk into any. <sighs> yeah, it did. It ripped the cattle panel out of the ground. I can see it. I'm gonna have to pound that back into the ground over there. I don't know if you all can see that. It is not in the ground. It is out of the ground. Probably the same thing over here. Let's go inside the cattle panel. It's barely in the ground down there. So that has to get worked on this morning. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I was working on a project over here. I needed to plant some more sleep potato slips and I had my chair and the bucket there it blew down buckets and pots off of the table it blew the chair down I have pots on the ground it broke my little truck a little bit that my nephew gave me I'm gonna have to fix that I guess it slammed into the chair. Mm. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh my goodness, my butterfly pea is laying on the ground. <sighs> my goodness. The storm was just violent last night, y'all. It, it, it just turned so ugly. It took this off the table, threw that on the ground. As you can see, the chair over there, it's been thrown onto the ground. I'm, I'm just glad that uh, none, of my, none of my windows are broken. Let me walk around, walk around here, y'all. I'm bumping into stuff. Oh, jeez. It threw the chair over there onto the cattle panel. It knocked down my moonflower, my morning glory, if you all can see that. Oh, my goodness. It has displaced my uh, wood rack here a little bit. The umbrella that I had up here, it has thrown that to the ground. It has broken a little bit of the wisteria. It has fallen onto my pepper. At least that piece was broken, so that's not too bad. This greenhouse somehow survived. I don't know how, but I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful that it did. I've got a lot of cleanup to do today. This is not how I wanted to start my day. It has thrown the barbecue grill onto the ground. It has tossed up um, panels that I had onto the floor. Just literally ripped them up. Um, 
Let's see if I at least got any rainwater in here. Not a lot of rainwater in there. A little bit in those buckets. Um, it has torn my little solar panel off the fence for my um, solar light that comes on over there, a motion sensor solar light. Let's see, let's go this way. I'm not gonna cut this video, I want you all to see what's happened last night. I mean, the wind, it was howling, it was just, it was terrible last night. I'm so glad to have rain, but I was not expecting this. But I guess you should expect. My poor um, Malabar spinach is leaning. It's got that gangster lean this morning. Let's see, let's go back this way. I'm trying to watch my footing to make sure I don't fall. Ah, uh, this is just so disheartening. Disheartening. This is what happens, I hear a lot of people say um, you, gardeners never show what's really going on in the garden they only show you the good stuff well this is one of those instances where this is not good stuff and this is what happens if you're going to garden when you put up structures sorry about the sunlight y'all it's, it's early the sun just came up not too long ago um, this is what happens when you're in the garden and you're putting up structures and you're trying to grow uh, sometimes the weather is just not your friend and you get damage um, I didn't have anything in these black buckets over here they were just here to collect a little bit of water um, I'm going to eventually probably pick up two more trees and that's what these are here for so some of the cardboard is flown over here so I've got to pick this up oh my goodness my poor morning glory is probably dead it is been uprooted in a little bit the bamboo stakes have been broken and it's laying on the ground it's laying on top of my my dad's uh, radiation mask um, in the dog area it's not too bad it just blew the tops off of my water buckets so that's not too bad at least the water buckets are full pretty much the water barrel is full yeah it blew up the cardboard over here oh, let's see if anything's going on in the back of the garden looks like everything is good over here for the most part um, all the plants are uh, still standing and uh, something has snapped off that looks like a bean leaf down there Something has been ravaged over here. My asparagus has, a piece of it has fallen down into the walkway, so I'll have to pick that up. I even have little pots all the way back here, and that's that wasn't back here yesterday. Um, oh my goodness, I've got a pepper over there that's leaning. I hope you all can see that right there, that pepper. Oops, sorry, that, the bugs are out. That pepper is leaning. I'm going to have to set that up. Let's see, let me step over my asparagus. I'm gonna have to put that back in the pot. Oh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Mm. At least it didn't tear my fruit down. My, water, my watermelon babies are still up there. And my squash babies are still over on this side. I'll be glad when this plant start put, starts putting out female flowers because all I'm seeing are male flowers. And all the fruit that was on here, I picked off about five. It didn't get pollinated. Look at all those beautiful flowers up under there. At least that's some beauty this morning. My squash plant is standing nice and tall. <sighs> okay, let's see. My poor gooseberry has just been bent to all mm, mm, mm. look at that gooseberries bent down it's hanging to the ground I've got gooseberries I've got to pick up down there so I don't want gooseberries growing in the aisle 
Other than that, let's walk through here. Try not to step on any gooseberries. Uh, I moved the watermelon a little bit. I've got some watermelon babies growing. You can probably see one right there. Uh, the watermelon didn't get tore up, but it's got spider webs growing. I had to retrieve uh, two of the vines. I was trying to grow through the fence, and I was like, oh, no, baby. <laughs> We're not giving away food. <laughs> so I pulled that out last night. Um, I'm not going to give you guys a garden tour. This is not about a garden tour. This is about what's happened uh, in the garden last night. After I showed you all that beautiful, beautiful rain, uh, I wake up and my garden is a mess. Look at my, oh, it knocked down the trellis out of the runner bean pot. It has this one leaning. So I have a lot to do today and I've got to get started because I have other activities to do. And this was not on the agenda today. But I just want to say that if you are a new gardener, I want you to see that this is something that does happen. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. You end up with damage from the weather in your garden and you have to deal with it if you're going to grow you're going to have to deal with pests. You're going to have to deal with the weather that changes. And sometimes it looks like this. So I'm going to sign out here because I've got to get started. I've got to get my day going. Got family activities and my dog's got to get taken care of and just life. Life is always happening. But I want to say thank you all for sitting in with me and watching and listening to the rain and seeing the aftermath, the devastation. As you can see, my elderberry, it's probably not gonna produce any berries. It might be a few on there, but the flowers have been knocked off and you all probably can't see that because the sun is, like I said, the sun is just coming up. Flowers have been knocked off, so. Yeah, there's that. But I, again, I want to thank you for joining me in the garden. I want to thank you for taking a look at the beautiful rain and then the aftermath of the rain. And until I see you either in the kitchen or the garden real soon, bye-bye for now. Don't you cry.